क्वेस्ट फाउंडेशन प्रेजेंट्स मैगजीन मां स्वामीनी प्रेरणा एडिटर श्री अजय शेठ थीम ऑफ दिस करंट इशू इज दिव्यांगजन संवेदना अने पड़कार दुनिया दिव्यांगजन संवेदना और चुनौतियों की दुनिया दिव्यांगजन अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ सेंसेशन एंड चैलेंजेस जुलाई ऑगस्ट 2023, वॉल्यूम नंबर थ्री इश्यू नंबर 15. विद दिस स्पेशल एडिशन वी प्रोवाइड एन इनसाइडर व्यू ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑफ दिव्यांगजन द स्पेशली एबल्ड Let us together understand the sensations and challenges from their side of the story. Right channel. The impact of yoga on special children. Writer Aarti Mehta. The terms handicapped, disabled, crippled are now replaced with differently abled, specially abled, physically or mentally challenged, special needs with intention of kindness. and positivity it is understandable but sometimes one wonders if it is an effort to promote equality by elevating disabled people or in a sense trying to deny the reality of disability i remember when i started teaching yoga in a school catering to children with special needs ranging from cerebral palsy down syndrome adhd which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder children prone to epileptic fits slow learners specific learning disability those falling in the spectrum of autism hearing impaired and so on and whenever there were visitors from special events the limelight would always be on children who were wheelchair bound or on crutches distinct facial features and i used to wonder why Most people associate these with disability. Were they some specimens or did they look like some helpless creatures who you could mollycoddle or look at condescendingly? At least you acknowledge and recognize them. But what about those which are invisible? They could be neurological, psychological disorders creating challenges even for the daily living activities which the outsiders cannot understand. Not all disabilities are visible. There are children with learning disabilities, emotional disorders, phobias, behavioral issues, and most often the society is unaware of the trials and trauma of the individual and their parents. And often this disability is not as sympathized as the physical one. Fortunately, the ancient India science of yoga deals with the body, mind, emotion and intelligence of an individual we have often heard that man is the product of habits and behavior developed during his early years what role does yoga play in their life guruji bks ayengar has said children have tremendous amount of energy which needs to be channelized in the right direction for a healthy body and mind regular practice of yoga asanas benefits them in many ways to name a few one it channelizes their bubbling energy and quietens them making them responsible for their own action i remember at one time the class was very noisy as each one was talking louder than the other and then the other imitating the other it became a fun thing for them to do to attract attention and distract the class from learning I asked them to close or cover their ears with their hands and scream as much as they wish to but the hands should not come off their ears Shureka the noise died down the moment they had to listen to their own sound 2 it improves attention and increases their concentration asking them to focus their eyes at a particular point helps as told by one of the child herself that After doing yoga you can play carom better. 3 it develops confidence and will power especially when they practice asanas which open up their chest. It helps them breathe better and thus brings clarity of the mind. 
as mind and breath are closely connected. 4. It helps them overcome stress and anxiety and makes them courageous. They come with complexes which is an emotional problem caused by unreasonable fear and worries. 5. It curbs their aggressive and violent tendencies that surface because of anger, fear and frustration. One boy once came up to me and said that he was very angry as his football team lost the match because the opponent had cheated. He wanted to bash the cheater. When I inquired whether he did, he replied, No. I realized it will not make any difference now since the game was already over. What is the point of fighting? This means a lot, as many children are very impulsive and this indicates a transformation. Looking back, I feel fortunate to not being formally trained to teach these children. Why do I say this? Rather than studying the case reports and then handling the children, I used an open-minded approach by using different ways and means to get the child to do specific asanas. If I had studied the case reports first, then the child would have been labelled with his or her shortcomings and that would have given me a chance to justify why neither the child nor myself could do what others were capable of doing. Subsequently, when I studied their history, it helped me to comprehend their behaviour better. If I can't learn the way you teach, will you teach me the way I can learn? Over the last 22 years, I have realised that these are indeed special children. They perceive, behave, communicate differently from the majority. As a teacher, it becomes my duty to identify the special in them and utilise that potential for them to lead a healthy and happy life. The practice of yoga helps identifying and nurturing the various senses of perception, which in turn would help them in their day-to-day -day life. Love the vibe? Explore such interesting podcasts at www.questfoundation.org.in.